Hi, Vlad here. Android runs on many devices with different versions. Each year there is new Android version and each year old versions became unused. As an Android developer, we want to have control of this process in our applications and ensure that we stop support barely used Android versions and prepare for the new ones. This is where MinSDK version, Compile SDK version and Target SDK version comes in. With MinSDK version, we set a minimum supported version in our application and therefore we stop supporting Android versions below our setting. There is no need to spend time and support older versions of Android if they are not used. However, how to decide what MinSDK version to support? If you are creating a new app, then you can use these numbers from Android Studio. Click on Help me to choose to see cumulative distributions of Android versions or follow with general advice and set your MinSDK versions based on the latest entry in this Twitter handle. If you have an existing project, you have better tools for checking Android versions, just open your Google Play console and see the app stats. MinSDK version is used by Google Play Store to determine if the app can be installed on the user device. It's also used by Lint in your project and it will warn you if you use any API higher than MinSDK version, so you'll not call the API that doesn't exist. For example, you have MinSDK version S21, but you want to use notification channels which introduced in API 26. This API is not available in Android X and because of this, Lint will give you a warning. You can't use this API because your app can be launched on the device with API from 21 to 25 and it will lead to a crash. Because of this, it's widespread to check for the Android version at runtime to avoid these errors. Android apps are forward compatible. It means that your existing application will not break when the new version of Android is released. However, it will not automatically apply the new features from the latest Android version. You need to handle this with Compile SDK version and Target SDK version properties. Each new Android version contains some features and they are mainly split into two categories, API and behavior changes. For example, the Android 10 adds a new APIs to support 5G networks and support for foldable devices. Compile SDK version is a property that allows you to use the new API. For example, if you set your Compile SDK version to 29, then you will have access to 5G support. Compile SDK version is only used at compile time and not included in your APK, so the recommendation is to always update your Compile SDK version to the latest. You'll get new API, compilation checks and avoid newly deprecated APIs. However, updating your Compile SDK version won't take any effect on runtime behavior changes. This way you can immediately use a new API before you work on behavioral changes. Target SDK version has nothing with app compilation or API. It only indicates that you tested your application against the specified version. Target SDK version is the main way how Android provides forward compatibility by not applying new features when Target SDK version is not updated. Based on this property, Android system knows how to handle your app in terms of features. For example, if you set your target SDK version to 29, then the Android system will use slightly modified on-resume and on-pause callbacks of activity lifecycle to support foldables. Usually you update the target SDK version to the latest after updating the compile SDK version. Where to set these versions? These properties live in the build gradle file of your module. Note that MinSDK version and target SDK version are defined in the build variant section. Therefore, we can use different versions for different build variants. In the end, they will be in a generated Android manifest and the Android system can work with them. As a summary, keep your eyes on statistics either from Android Studio or your Google Play console and stop supporting and used Android versions with MinSDK version property. Your ideal formula should look like this. When the new version of Android arrives, update your compile SDK version, then update target SDK version and test your app. That's all for today, see you later.